Welcome back to Slay the Spire, everyone. Last time we did a run with the Watcher, not just any run, our first run. Uh, we actually got all the way through, which is pretty cool. But I want to keep playing the Watcher. We've got a lot to unlock. We're just getting started. It's a cool character. I'm not jumping to Ascension. Nice try. Nice try, game. we got to do some unlocks. we got to learn about the character. Um, I do always love this, but a good colorless card could be good as well. Let's check the map and see if we have a shot at getting an Elite. Uh, I do not see a path to get to an elite with the one. So I'm going to take a colorless card. Um, reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to one this turn. Okay, good. It could be good. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero this combat exhaust. And then blind. I'll take madness. I'm not sure it's... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Could be good. Could be a mess. Uh, it's like kind of a free turn one of these into a standard zero. So I guess that's nice. Uh, let's, um, we're going to strike, defend, defend. I don't want to take damage, so I'm not going to. What does this mean, by the way? I don't remember this being, oh, floor one, maybe? I don't remember that being a thing. Um... I mean, we could kill this and then defend and take two. We could kill this, defend and take even more. That's not great. Uh, we could not kill it, take more. So I think we kill and defend. Okay. Um, we're not going to be able to kill it, are we? Let's do this and then hope to like do an eruption or something and gain a ton of oh, slimed. Actually, we can also just take advantage of our zero defend here. And then eruption and boom. Okay. Fire potion is nice. Just, we haven't seen some of these. Just lucky. Scry one gained. Oh, we did see that. I'm sorry. I recognize the text, but not the card. Sash whip. Loved. Uh, and then halt. Gain three block. If you're in wrath, gain nine additional block. That could be kind of cool. Uh, help you take advantage of a wrath. Speaking of which, let's take advantage of a wrath. Use the miracle here. And then strike, strike. Look at that. Wrath can be powerful. Gain eight block. The next attack you play costs zero. That seems hard to use, uh, but sure. Uh, gain seven block. Exit your stance. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take crush joints. We're kind of got a little bit of an aggro deck going. Hello, gremlin. Twelve cards. Match them to keep them. Five tries, no do overs. Are you ready? Let's start. Yes. I oh. That's so disappointing. Master Reality, Just Lucky, Discovery, Eruption, Worship, Eruption. I will take the Eruption. Uh, all right. That sucked because we got a shame. But there uh, was nothing we could do about it. It's not a mistake we made. It just happened. Um, so I could do this. And I think kill you. Yeah, that's right. And then, I mean, sure, I can get a bunch of block. Don't need it. But unfortunately, I now have Frail. Uh, we're already in Wrath. So I think I do this. And then maybe that works. It does. It's just the right amount. Uh, retain, enter Wrath, exhaust. Retain, enter Calm, and then gain three Mantra. When you obtain ten Mantra, enter Divinity. Upon entering the stanch, gain three energy attacks, deal triple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it. Maybe we will try to get some divinity here. It's a new stance that we haven't played before. Um, could I get this guy to split on the first turn? I think I probably can. And then, boom. And then what I'd have to do, because I don't want to get, otherwise I get hosed here, is that. And actually. Not sure this was great, because he's going to split with a lot of health. So maybe that was poorly thought through on my part. 
Um, but we can do this here. Oh, he's not going to split again. Well, crap. Uh, I don't want to take that damage. I have no desire to take that damage. That puts an insight into our deck. That's fine, I guess. Can draw some extra cards in here. Let's go for the strikes. Okay, so this is, would be how we um, really build into Divinity more frequently. So let's try it. Let's try to understand how Divinity works here. I'm not going for the key. I haven't taken that much damage, so we could Smith. Uh, yeah, Devotion Plus would be pretty good, I think. Prey Plus gets a little bit better. Eruption costing one I do think is nice. Gets better. That gets like... It's a lot of... It's a lot of block. Um... I mean, you only play that once, though. I'm gonna go with Devotion. I just want to kind of try the, how Divinity works here. I'm not. Sh I don't think this is like the best deck we're creating, um, but it's interesting, which I like. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to go into, but it's it's still free block, so I should take it. Um, I don't really want to take any damage. Doing a little bit of damage doesn't help me that much to him. So. Uh, it's so annoying. Can I take him out? No. So what am I doing? I just gave myself a ton of damage. Ah, yeah. You gotta really be careful about that. When retained, increase its damage. That's always cool. I uh, definitely don't want to do the elite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sash is good. Can only play this is the only attack in your hand. This we, this worked out well for us last time. The start of your next turn, enter Wrath and draw two cards. This could be decent. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15. It's pretty good. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerable. Um, Apotheos is great, but we can't play it. I could take the Sash Whip and the Signature Move. And then maybe get rid of this horrible thing we picked up. That seems like a pretty good shop, especially for this early. Yeah, I feel good about that. Um, every fourth question mark is a treasure room. That's cool. Uh, we could rest. I'm going to be a little bold and upgrade. Um, stronger... Stronger Windmill Strike could be good. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upgrade Prey. I'm really going all in on this Mantra into Divinity. Which I'm not sure is that strong again, but I just... I don't know. Feels cool. Oh, that's Madness. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Devotion... Um, I should defend, and I'm not sure it's worth it just to get that, so I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to hold on to the miracle, because then maybe we could do something like strike, strike, windmill strike, not enough, suspiciously. I did not do the math correctly there. I mean, I actually just didn't do the math. Which is a mistake. The enemy intends to attack, enter calm, deal. I, I, I like I like this, like, stacking attacks approach. Oh, God. We have no AoE at all. I don't want to do that. Uh, although it would give me a bunch of block, but still. Um, ugh. I mean, I could kill something with it this but then you're looking at eight you're looking at 36 damage yeah you get 12 here it's still not worth it so i think i stack up here 15 uh, still a lot of damage it's really annoying 
We need AoE for sure. I mean, what we could do is something like... That's plus two, that would make it 11. We could do something like this. Uh, I messed the order of that up, so I didn't get the extra energy. So rusty at this game. It's a fun game, though. It's worth it. It's worth it to be rusty. Uh, grab another follow-up. I don't really want to. I mean, the relic is really good, but I don't have a lot of HP. Also, don't have a lot of cash. An AoE would be nice. This is not an AoE, though. It felt like one when I looked at it last game. It's not. Gain plated armor. Um, it is good, though. And uh, I'm basically going to take these two. Okay. Definitely going to rest here. Definitely going to rest. Okay. I think going into Wrath's the right move here. That gets me an extra energy. And that applies weak. And I don't think it's worth using the Miracle for that. Dear God. We have to get out. We don't have any ways to get out of... Uh, Wrath, do we? Which is really a problem. Being able to put him into vulnerable helps moderately. Why did that not put him into vulnerable? Uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of options here. I'm gonna die, aren't I? We're gonna die. Alright, well, that was a really, really, really short run. It was very disappointing. Much less smooth than our first run. But that's okay. Let's just jump right back in. Try again. It's all about learning. Uh, well, I would upgrade a card. Uh, I think that is great. Oh, we do have a way to get in the calm. What was I thinking? Yeah, I think that cost one. I think that's the best move. Any paths I like? I don't love that path. I don't really want to hit the shop that early. A bunch of question marks could be interesting. This lets you hit two, three. This lets you hit a crazy number of, crazy number of uh, campfires. Um, we could kill you. We can't kill you. My math is rusty. Let's do that, and then that's plenty of block. It gets us the calm, which is great for a uh, future eruption. Like this. Now we just have a ton of energy. And then we can pop back into calm. And then now we should be plenty fine. Okay. Enter Wrath and draw two. We've seen that deal at a smite. That's pretty cool. Gain six blocks of insight. I think that's actually great. Um, I'll transform. I'm feeling a little risky. Uh, I'll transform a defend. What is it? Empty, empty body. Gain seven block. Exit your stance. All right. That's better than a defend, I think. All right, let's try not to get as screwed on this. I would take another eruption. I do not want another decay. Omniscience, choose a card in your draw pile. Play the chosen card twice and exhaust it. Okay. Dramatic entrance, flurry of I don't want another decay. Collect, I would love another collect. I'll take the other eruption though. Okay, cool. Uh, I will carve reality. I will strike. I'll just do the spite. No point saving it. Choose a card in your draw pile. Play the chosen card twice and exhaust it. Exhaust it. Costs four. How is that useful? I mean, I can get how it's useful, but my god. 
Um, I think we just do this and this. I don't think it's worth miracling to wrath and then pop right out of it. Instead, we can do this, this, boom. This character surges power so much. Whenever you enter wrath, draw two cards. That's great. Deal four damage twice. Sure. Whenever you, yeah, I'm gonna take rush down. I love that. Uh, I have to find a time to play it, of course, which I assume is like the best time is as early as possible. I don't want to take damage just on principle. So I'm going to use a miracle. And then now I can exit the stance. It's not putting me in wrath, though. Uh, I could choose a card in my draw pile and play it twice. That's the discard pile. Don't get confused. I would like double attack I gain seven block here's what I do then I omniscience and then I just double strike that felt complicated <laughs> kind of cool but I mean again awfully complicated now that was really cool that was cool signature move is great consecrate an AoE would be nice uh, put a card from your discard pile in your hand and retain it. Enter calm. End your turn. I, yeah, that was confusing last time we had it on the, for our first run. I'm gonna take signature move. I do like the AOE. We did need one last time and not have one, but I thought that was just good. Uh, having that be free would be wonderful. Having that cost three makes it less comically hard to use. Uh, those are all good upgrades. I'm gonna make rush down. Well, you only do that once and it only costs one like I'd rather have that cost one uh, and we're coming here potion belt is wonderful need to pick up potions of course but we do have two already and we can smith again that's really nice um, I'll make a signature move cost more that could be cool You know, let's just get the extra block. We've gone pretty aggro on our cards here, and that's a good one we might play a lot since we have two ways to get into um whenever you play ten whenever you play ten cards, draw one card. It's gonna be hard to keep track of that. Alright, this is where an AoE would have been wonderful. Um I don't think I wanna enter I don't think I wanna enter Wrath this turn. I do wanna get the rush down out. I don't have a way to block but if I could knock one of these guys out I guess we could knock this guy out and then drink the potion it's not the end of the world it's not great it's five damage so it's not the end of the world as I said um we have a lot of block could do something like let's go for you you're the weak one and actually take you out and then do empty block that gives us 10 that's plenty and then we do something like eruption on you strike on you miracle I can't do signature move which is unfortunate because that would be plenty but I could vigilance which puts me into calm And then I could eruption, eruption. Sash whip. Scry two, draw one. I might try that actually. Um, I wanna go this way to get that campfire too. We're gonna upgrade again. Steel nine, scry three, pretty good. Uh, nine, scry three. I'm gonna do that maybe. Ten damage, nice solid. Spore clouds on death applies to vulnerable. Right, right. Can I kill you? Uh, I would. Which one? I I'm choosing the one to discard. One, two, 
Those will be six. I can't kill him this turn. I'm gonna discard this then. Strike. And then we'll block. Yeah. Um. I mean, we could do a crazy amount of damage. Can we kill this guy? We should be able to. Yeah, look at that. Man, look at that. That was nuts. That was absolutely nuts. Oh man, do we want to do this again? Retain, deal 20 damage. We retain, lower its cost by one this combat. That's pretty good. You can get it down to free, and then it's a ton of damage. I mean, even more damage. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just have that be a card we retain. Kinda wish I had more ways to block. Can apply three weak. I don't need to, I mean, I, I'm gonna take six damage. I don't need to totally freak about that. Or I could force him into splitting, but it's gonna be ugly. I don't want him to split just yet. Right? Okay, now we're gonna split him. He needs to get to 33 to split. Um, which should be doable. Oh boy. Nine. I mean, this will do it. Doesn't matter. And then I kind of want to play something else. Okay. That's a pretty good split. Nice. I don't know that I want two signature moves. I'll do a bowling bash. Smith. It's a little risky, but I think it's the uh, I think it's the right move. Who are we fighting? That thing. You know that would be helpful if I remembered <laughs> what these things were. It's <laughs> uh, too funny. Guess I'll make that a little, a little bigger. Yeah. Okay. So he's not gonna, he's not gonna have lots of friends after receiving thirty. Okay, this is the guy where you like time when you ship him into different modes. Got it. I'll do that. I'll do that, and I'll do that, and then that puts him close where we could flip him if we needed to. I think. I hope. This is gonna get cheaper over time, which is great. I will. I will do this. And then flip him. And then we basically wait, right? Okay. Though it would be nice. I mean, that's actually a lot of damage. But I can't play it because I got that, I got that. It's actually kind of tricky. That actually card might get hard to use, given our the way our deck is shaping up. Um, okay, we can get out of here and into block, which is probably the right move. And then play the rushdown. And then just chill, that gets cheaper. It's cheaper every turn. And then it's cheaper for the rest of the combat, which is great. Um, I don't wanna take like a ton of damage. But I could do this. That puts me in Wrath. I'm gonna end by going back into Calm, I think. But before, what do I wanna do? That. I do want to do that. It's a lot of damage. And then I'm going to Miracle and Vigilance. And I am taking a little bit of damage here, about eight. I think that's okay. And we're back in Calm. And then we should definitely be able to do that much damage, because what we'll do is we'll do Eruption. Do Carve Reality. Smite. Uh, 
We can break through. Barely. Cool. Can we do 60? I think we can? Maybe. Hold on. That'll do 32, and then... Well, actually, it'll be 18, so that'll be 38. That'll do 50. We can do 50 damage to him. Or we try and block. Uh, which is the right call. Let's play conservative here. We totally got him. There's no sense being crazy aggro here. Uh, this should be able to do it, right? Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. This is much better than our first run. Whenever a card is retained, reduce its cost by one. I do love that. It's a strong power. If fatal, upgrade a random card in your deck. That's cool. We're pretty early on here. Um... Would take a lot of work, though. Deal stick additional damage equal to mantra gained this combat. <gasps> I'm gonna take this and hope we get stuff related to mantra. That's a little risky. During boss and elite combats, gain energy. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. That's all upside. Uh, it is a little risky to bet on getting mantra, but I think we could force it if we want. Um, we could come up. This way has a lot of question marks, which was good for us last, last run. Completely irrelevant this run. Not something we should be optimizing for. Gonna do it anyway, I think it's still the best path. Uh, all right, 10, I don't wanna take 10. Do two defends here. Okay. I'm not loving Omniscience, by the way. I'll just drop it in. What if you play a non-attack card? Shuffle one days in your draw pile. Alright, well, we'll just stick to attack cards, then. Including that one. And that one. We'll put only one dazed in for all that. We're in a pretty good spot to finish you. Here we go. Gain Mantra and block. That's pretty good. Zero. Uh, deal. If the last card played with this comes with a skill, play too vulnerable. That's good too. That's actually really good. I'm gonna retain, enter, calm, exhaust. I'm gonna take the Mantra. Even though I think the other card was actually good. Or better, I would even say. Um, we're gonna retain that. I don't. I don't want to play eruption, to be honest. It's not actually gonna do much for me. So I can prostate. That gives me two mantra. That also makes this a stronger card for the rest of combat. I like that. I'm gonna do this to the block. We're good now. Then I will do that. I will do that. Um, not sure it's worth it, but I did want to like. If, once you get his shield down, it's helpful to do a little more damage to him. That's my thinking anyway. I'm gonna just block on this one. Make Sansa time cheaper. Um, could I? I I can't get signature move out. Well, no, I will have a bunch of energy if I do this because I'm leaving calm. Could have even arguably done that. But I can strike. In sands of time, and he is gone. I'm gonna do consecrate. I think an AOE is nice. 
We're gonna take a question mark. Uh, remove all bites, gain. I, I don't want to be the vampire. Uh, I will lose 22 HP. I would go to 50. I'd be healing from then on out, though. Do I want to be the vampire? I don't think so. I've got, I, I, yeah, I don't think so. Get jacked. Um, start each combat with three strength at the end of your first turn. Lose three strength. That doesn't, like, my deck, I kind of want to get into modes first and stuff. I guess we'll transform two cards. I don't like, no, not that. This is not working for me. I know it's a good card, or I would think so, because it's yellow. Um, this isn't, I'm not loving this. This is getting really tricky to play. But I, I, I'm better off, I'm like noticeably better off just like transforming a strike than this thing. Okay. Uh, what am I getting? I got two cards, I didn't see them. They just flew right by. Fear no evil, okay. And halt, okay. I think that was good. I think it was like stunning, but I think it was good. Malleable. Um, upon gain three block, malleable increases as malleable is triggered. Yeah, that's right. He's going to attack for 21, which is really obscene. Um, I can block 10 of it. Okay. And then we can really go for it. I mean, look at that, it's free. Do I go for another? It would only do six. I'm gonna hold on to it. Oh my god. Uh, obviously we can get out of here, which will help a little. This is probably the best way to get out of it. Get some damage in. It's still, I mean, he's still hitting for 21. Damn. Um. Do this, then this. And some more, we're at 15, he's still going for 21. Uh, I could get a little bit there, so I need to discard this, weirdly. And then I can do this, 18, all right. Not the worst, we got two Mantra. We definitely need more Mantra stuff if we're gonna actually get into Divinity. Um, let's throw that up there. Oh wait, are we really not killing this guy? Sheesh. Sheesh. Another carve reality. I mean, I need. To, I should be thinking about vulnerable and weakness and stuff. Those could be useful. I will rest. Be a little cautious here, but maybe we'll do fine enough that we won't need to rest next time. Ah, these guys are annoying. Helps if you can kill one. I've learned one thing, it's that. I'm not gonna be able to do signature move. Sure. I'll do it, keep the smite. Oh, wait, at least we can take him out. Uh, I will prostate. That's enough to kill him. Can't kill one of these guys. Consecrate. Oh, uh, wait, can I not? That will do 14. That will, that's 28. No. I mean... Let's see what we get. I could enter Wrath. And then probably... Oh! I did that last time, too. It doesn't mean you get to look, it means you just don't get it. Uh, I was gonna enter Wrath and then try and do enough to kill him and then probably take the same amount of damage, but then he's at least dead. 
Block. Alright. Alright, still a little rusty. Still a little rusty. It's all good. Um... And a little bit of block there. It takes six. It's all good. Uh, I don't think I want to... Well, you know what I can actually do? I can do this. Then gain the block. Get out. That gets me more. And I can do this. And this. Complicated, but the right move. And then... Nice. Can't make that cost. I'm gonna do it. Can't make it cost one, I was gonna say. I'm gonna do it. I do think it's good. I think it's a little tricky to use, but... It's a tenial puzzle. Slightly tricky. We have a lot of gold, so that's cool. Dark shackles are good. I mean, metamorphosis is good. Cost two, which is a little annoying. Draw cards until your hand is full. I do think follow-up's good. It's like... It's a little tricky. I do think study's good. And Chaku's pretty good. I don't think Art of War or the Abacus are gonna work for us. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that. I do think that will be helpful. I'll take Dark Shackles. Okay. Complicated. Then we could smith something. Prostate going up. Prostrate. <laughs> Not prostate. Prostrate. It's a little weird. Could be good. Um, lesson learned. Be like a little easier to use. We'll bump this up. Make it slightly more likely we get into divinity, especially on a boss fight. Let's come here. Ah, uh, kind of annoying. I have a way, I don't necessarily have a way out of Wrath, which would be bad. I would draw two cards, which might give me a chance coming out. And I would get a bunch of blocks, so it could be worth it. It's risky, but let's do it. Twelve. I think I can kill him. Uh, discard that. Okay. So that's helpful. And then... I mean, will I be able to kill him? No, but... We can only take seven. This isn't the end of the world for this fight, to be honest. Uh, okay, I want to make sure to use... Successfully win with this. So if I do this and then that, we upgraded something. Pretty cool. Do I want a powerful fight with many rewards? I don't think I do, gonna be honest. But I did it. Because... We might as well play for the win. If I could get that Taskmaster out.
Um, I don't want to enter calm. I do want to kill him, but I don't want to enter calm, which is a little tricky. So I'll take the block, and then I'm going to signature move. Great. Oh, and then that got me the energy. Yeah, that got real lucky. Wow, no damage. And he's really low. Yeah, you're a problem. Whenever you play a skill, it gains two strength. You're a huge problem. Huge. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Enemy loses nine strength this turn. He'll gain two. But, okay, we can do this. I want to... I want to play this. I want to play this. I want to play... I can play one more. It's gonna be this. Unless, can I kill him? No. Is that worth it, actually? Yeah, it's worth it. Because I could do this. And then this. And he won't be able to damage me. And I think I should be able to kill him next turn. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Twelve. I'm not going to be able to kill him with that. I could do 24 damage to him, then I take a lot. Or I could defend, but honestly, it doesn't help me much. Put three random attacks from your draw pile in your hand. I don't have the energy, though. Choose one of three random cards to add in your hand. It costs zero this turn. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. Are any of mine... Maybe I can do it. Yeah, I think I can do it. Because watch, I can do this. And then this. That gives me an energy. I want to kill you with this. But I won't... Oh, frustrating. It's probably not worth trying that hard. Okay. Dead branch. Cool. That's really cool. Choose a power card to start with. I mean, this one's great, but it costs two. Take a rush down. It's just hard to play right away. Liquid Bronze is great. Has a potion. Retain, enter, wrath, exhaust. Well, with Dead Branch, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, no, nah, I'm going to skip the elite. All right, this guy's got artifacts. That guy's got like a crazy amount of block. This goes first. We want to play that. I'm going to do that and then that. And then that. And like, look at that. What a start. What a start. Uh, and then that would be bold. I'm not going to do the bold thing. Might have been great, but. He's got so much block, and I don't have a good way out of it. Don't want that right now. I actually don't want either of these. This is nine strength this turn, and we exhaust. Sure. So we get a random card. Sure, I'll play study. That felt more productive. Uh, oh, he's got artifact. That jerk. The last card played this was attack. And then those go into my deck, right? So it kind of does change the deck in a weird way. Retain, enter Wrath, Exhaust. That will exit Wrath. This will enter Calm. There's some complicated options here. I can do this. And then this, and then we get a bunch more energy. I can do 
that. I'm not in wrath, but I'll take the extra block anyway. And then we've got some things we retained that will exhaust. We've got a lot of exhausts now. We do intend to attack, so let's go into calm. Wallop. Unblocked damage dealt. He's going to block it all. I could do this and enter wrath. My hand is full. I mean, that'll kill him. Okay. Enter divinity. Look at that. That's pretty good. End your turn, though. Take Sash Whip. That potion puts me into Divinity. We still have yet to go into Divinity. Will this be the run? I don't know. I really don't. I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, Ragnarok, though. And that's pretty cool, because I do think we learned. Was it Gaming King that told us this would just actually work throughout the entire combat? I think that is actually quite good. I didn't really look at this. Oh, that would have been perfect. That's why you look at everything before you buy something, Will. That's literally the reason why. But it's good. It's all good. It's all good. Play that, let's get it going. I don't think I'll be able to play that. Uh, is that true? No, maybe I would actually. But I still would, I think I'd rather block a little bit more. Yeah, and then we can do this and then we're in calm. Cool, then we can like really go for it. Look at that, we get a bunch of energy. Again, the mantra. Hold on. Need to make sure that's. Oh no, it's ethereal. I'm gonna lose it. Yep, gonna lose it. I could go back into wrath, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to retain that. Okay. Okay, this one I want. That'll give me a bunch of a bunch of blocks. Hey. Okay. Oh man, my hand is full. This is where we start to run into real problems. Eruption. Sash whip is great. Put some weak on him. Um, I'll do this, and then I will do Sands of Time, just because we want to get all that damage out. I don't need to do this yet. He's not attacking, which is just great. Carve Reality. That is exhaust. Gets me something. Diva Form, once again, not ideal. I'm just going to lose it. I mean, sure, I'll just play it for fun. Done it now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whew. He would kill me. He would one-shot me for sure. Do I have a way out of this? May not, guys. I 
could go into divinity and try to kill him, but it is a lot that we need to do. We are only at uh, mantra. We're only at three mantra. I don't think we can kill him in divinity. It would triple damage. This is already the double, though. I should look at this first. What is a safety? Until next turn prevents damage? Oh, no, block. Sorry. It's just a 12 block. It sounded so much... So much more powerful. This could be good. Play a skill. Let's do that. And then this, and then we draw. Well, we're close here, but... Definitely gonna have to give him weak. 80. I mean, I would... I'm gonna survive now, so that's progress, but my gosh. I was really hoping... Uh, exhaust something? Maybe that gives me a chance. Nope. Maybe this gives me a chance. Nope. Alright, we're taking a ton of damage. I should have just been trying to do damage to him then. So we're gonna have to kill him this turn. Which is doable. Whew! Close. Close. Unplayable. When you draw this card, add two miracles to your hand and exhaust. That's pretty good for us. Shuffle an expunger. Oh, it's based on the... Eh. I think this is good for us with Dead Branch. Whatever you exit calm, gain an additional energy. The start of your turn. The start of your turn. Whenever you open... A non-boss chest, obtain a curse. Whenever you exit calm, give it an additional energy. That's good too. Non-boss chest. I'm gonna do this. I think it's nice to be able to do chests. Do we actually see any chests? It's like just the one. This is the path to avoid. Oh, that's like the crazy elite. That's right. Go up this way. Life link. All right, it's been a while. These guys, the other enemies are still alive. Revives in two turns at fifty percent HP. Ah, yeah. It's annoying. This is great. You attack this enemy. Consecrate, gain three strength, gain three dexterity, one less energy at the start of the turn. I could live with that. Sure. Gain eight block. And I'm gonna just do this to get uh, this going. That's right, it does this weird block versus attack thing. Uh, this will do a lot of damage. I mean, if I enter Divinity... <laughs> totally. I think this is the ideal... Outcome. It will take 12. It's not great, but we should be able to kill things quickly, I think. Especially if we go into. Let's try this. I mean, this would be nice for the upgrade, but is it worth taking that much damage? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Well, that said, yeah, because then we can do Calm. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's way better. Man, this is gonna be annoying though. This'll work. Yeah, okay, here we go. He's gone. He's gone, okay. Whew. Shuffle a through violence into your drop pile. I mean, it'd be great if it didn't cost two. Exhausts are good for us. Though, because a dead branch. No. I would love to be getting a rare relic, but. Going up this way. Nice. Ah. Oh. No exploder though. Can we kill him if we do this? Hold on, that'll just like totally kill him. Free upgrade. Is it not this one that it upgraded? It's kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna want to do this. Should have done it. That's 28. That right there is 24, though. Here we do this. Oh man, it's gonna do so much damage though with the thorns. Let's get some block. Some block. Don't need this, don't need this. Got it, we can get into calm, that's nice. I mean that'll I'll cover us. That. I think being able to get out of stances could be good for us. Let's pop this. I don't know if that was quite right. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. Not worth it. Find a boss from Act 1. I think we could do this. I can't remember if you heal after, but... This, I think, is actually good. Because then we get to draw... shifted. Probably should have waited for that, right? But it's all good. I can still do more damage to him. The card from you just got to retain it. Enter calm, end your turn. Okay, 10's not too bad. you play an attack. It's not quite the same as every attack, is it? I'm not sure. I'm really not. Let's put some defenses up on the board. I mean, I think this is good. Oh man, another one? I think we got a Ragnarok. Yeah, so we only did one attack back. That's such a good deal. Do 
do I want? Uh, I could keep that actually. Put weak on him. I might keep going. It's kind of crazy, but. Take a mantra and uh, do one more attack. I mean, we have just owned this guy. We can block what he's doing, even in. Screw that. Let's get some block. That's what I should have done. Bird faced urn. Great. Sure. I think we want it this way. Oh, actually. They're pretty comparable. I'm gonna smith. Talk to the hands, pretty cool. I don't know how if this was totally worth it versus just healing, but it's all good. We'll get three miracles. With dead branch, it is pretty good. Alright, this guy you just need to do a lot of damage to. Which is actually kind of our kind of good for us. Surprising we don't have a um to fort damage twice. That'll get us some block. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for the block that it gets us. Uh I'll do this. Here's where we really go. Boom. Not worth it. totally optimizing to do all the damage in the world, but. Ooh. So much. In fact, let's go into calm just to tone it down a little. Although, there's trade offs to that actually. Game block equal to. Actually, I think we are better off going into. Yeah, we were better off being in Wrath, weirdly. Cool. It's so hard to do the math on this fight when you're in uh, in the Wrath stance. But maybe it shouldn't be? <laughs> Take an extra turn after this one, I love it. Like, could I actually just, uh, could we actually get him? <laughs> I don't think we can. I don't think it actually helps us to do that, but it's kind of fun. I don't think we've ever actually successfully killed this guy. 
So I don't know if it does something special when you get him there. He probably does. Okay. We didn't even get close. I'll take the AOE. Probably should be thinking about skipping cards by now, but... Upgrade. Yeah, that's good. Bottle lightning. That could be pretty cool as a way to start. If it works the way I think it does. Getting the mantra going. It's either this or this. I'm gonna go with this. I don't know. I'm not positive it'll work. With prostrate, but. I need to kill you. Um, I will take six damage for doing this. If I divinity, it would do 15. It's not worth it. I don't think it's worth the damage. I guess I should have miracle and played that. That's what I should have done. a little. Taking more damage than I want to. careful about that. Man. Okay. Let's do... Let's still take this guy out. I wish I could have. Oh man, look at all those days. Took a lot of damage there. I would love to get into Divinity once, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Get something. Deal three damage three times. Enter wrath. Really? I mean, maybe I can kill you. Yeah, I can. Crazy enough. We gotta get these guys to be tricky. Oh man. Whew. All right, let's do this. Now 
Now he's gone. Now how do we get this guy? Doesn't count the people who are dead. That's unfortunate. This will do it. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. Yep, more mantra. We have a shot now. We're going this way. The maw. Get some mantra. Gonna rush down. Talk to the hand is a great start. I'll get into calm just to build up. And I'll just do this for the damage. I'm not going to get the weak on him. We are weakened. So again, we've got six mantra. can do this. Puts me in a dicey spot. A really dicey spot. But I, I can use this to get out of it. So... Let us do a lot of damage. I think we actually do this, and then we Miracle. Put a card from your discard pile into your hand and retain it, enter Calm, enter Turn, or Fear No Evil. I'm gonna do Fear No Evil. Both get us into Calm. That one does damage, the other one will have given us a card. Could have checked, I guess. Uh, I think going into Wrath is great. Oh my gosh. Your next attack deals five additional damage. I think we just burn through our attacks. We could keep going, but we could just do it next turn. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to kill him off with lesson learned. If we can. A lot of cards. My hand is full, that's fine. Just need to kill you with lesson learned here. Boom. Great, 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 great. I'm gonna discard that. Oh yeah, I've definitely taken devotion. We're going to get into Divinity if it kills us. Which it might. But for the boss fight, wouldn't it be nice? Ah. Thorns are good. Who are we fighting? Oh, yeah. The donut and the... The, the square thing. I mean, maybe thorns are good. Maybe. None of these strike me as make or break cards. I mean, having a bunch of insights could be cool. Is there anything we want to remove? Probably. Nothing bad, though. I don't have any curses or anything. I'll take the thorns. Take the consecrate. I'm gonna rest. All right, let's see. Can we divinity our way through this? 
He's gonna negative attack a effect and he's gonna buff, which is better to kill. I do not know. I mean, this will only burn through his... a little. Choose a card in my discard pile. Prostrate. Is that, like, worth it? I don't think so. I th think I'm just taking a bunch of damage. I think that's great. on this guy. So I could go into Wrath. And then vulnerable them. Really him. I do need to get out of it. But I can, and I can gain 10 block in the process. That's free. That does a bunch of damage. One of three attacks of any color. I have not this. How many times am I gonna make that mistake? Should we guess? Should we guess? Just hit, hit and skip by accident. I definitely want to play that. But I needed to empty body here to survive, so... That's what I'm gonna actually do. I don't want to gain the energy though, so I can play that. Grab that. Okay. You can lose a bunch of strength. I'm totally good with that. Getting close to divinity here. I mean, this is probably going way up with... Well, no, it's just triples, so... Anything being tripled. I mean, that's... Um, 6 times 6 is 36. It is a lot. But Brilliant Stick is probably pretty good. And it only costs one. Okay. How do I gain him? Well, we could do this. That gets me energy. Now I'm in divinity, right? Yeah. Gain three energy and attack steal triple damage. Exit the stance of the tire to your next turn. I mean, look at this. We're gonna be able to do a ton of damage. Yeah. Let's knock you out. Let's weaken you, or it won't because of, but it does remove the final. Do 84 damage, no problem. Vulnerable would be good. Gain eight block, the next attack you play costs zero. I don't have any expensive ones. Let's do that. It's 40. 
Discard, discard. Amazing. Divinity saves the day. Hello, Spire. Boom. 639 damage. Is it victory? No. No, it never ends. It never ends. But we should get some more unlocks. Okay, foreign influence. We've seen that. Alpha. Shuffle a beta into your drop pile. Shuffle an omega into your drop pile. What? What does that do? That's pretty cool. All right, very cool. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we got to Divinity. I wouldn't really call it a Divinity run. We got there once at the very end. Uh, but it did win the run, so that's kind of cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving the Watcher. Gonna try it again, I think. Thanks for watching. See you next time.